All right, it looks like it's done with my videos. So let me find all the different ones here. It's all this stuff other than that MTS file. And this is going to go into the output folder into the Adobe Media Encoder folder. And we can get rid of the XMP files here, the XMP SES and the XMP, because those aren't really needed. And here are my output files. And I'd like you to go ahead and try and, you know, check the quality of these and see how you did it. Now you'll notice with the Adobe Media Encoder, one of the things that was remove the um, ghosting that we're getting with the fields here. So for some reason, it didn't give me the ability to remove those fields. That's something to be able to point out with the media encoder. Didn't seem to have that option. But overall, everything's about the same size and looks like the honestly. And that is, of course, because we did change much the same settings for everything, meaning everything was at 1500 kilobytes per second. So if you have pretty much the same settings, you'll notice you get pretty much the same results. And these are all pretty high quality codecs. Um, of course, the MPEG being the codec which is used for DVDs. So that concludes the Adobe Media Encoder. We're going to go on to the next video tutorial and uh, do the next software.